I'm back. So today I'm back with a special, special video. This video is in collaboration with a beautiful young lady named Angie. She is so amazing. She goes by the name Makeup Angel 23. And you guys need to check out her channel. She does some beautiful, really gorgeous looks. I just think that she's so cute. And I love watching her videos so much. So you guys need to check her out. And I'm going to leave her video in the description box down below. We both decided to do something really fun and colorful. So keep on watching. I hope you all enjoy. So first I primed my eyes with my Thank Me Later primer from Elizabeth Mott. I got it in a Ipsy bag, I believe. Now I am using Soft Peach from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I go in with Cafe Macchiato afterwards. And now you want to add more Cafe Macchiato to intensify the color. Now I am using Spice by Morphe. I'm sorry, Maki Coffee. Coffee Macchiato and Spice are both by Morphe. Now I am using Noir, Nior, Nor. I don't know how to say that, but from Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's like the really black color. I am using a pencil brush to apply it in my crease and then after the brush has less product, I go in and blend it out. As you can see, I'm just taking my time blending it out. I did not speed this up so you guys can see exactly how I do it. And you should be done when it looks something like this. It does not need to be perfect. Now I am using my Magic Mix. This is from Deviant Cosmetics. I bought it on eBay and it is like $4.50. I mix that in with a teal color from the a baked eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. And this Magic Mix prevents any creasing or transfer so that is why I love it. You can use Fix Plus to apply it, but some people do not like glitter, which I will add in the end. So that's why I applied it with the Magic Mix first. Now I am using Buttery to blend out and highlight the brow bone. Now I am adding more of that black color from Anastasia. Now I'm going to apply my wing liner. So as you can see, I do it with my eye open. I just like wing it up and I start to fill it in. And then I go in and line my eyes. And then I fill in the missing gaps and it's pretty much done. This eyeliner is from L'Oreal. I forgot the name, but I think it is waterproof. And I think it's like the gold cap and like a silver tube or... Yeah. And this is that... Um, a gold mascara. I forgot the name of it, but I'll have a the name in the description box down below. I am just coating my lashes with mascara before I apply falsies. And I'm just really coating my lashes, making sure they are separate. Now I am applying these lashes. I customize them myself, so if you guys would like a video on how I do that, 
please leave a comment down below in the description box and I will be happy to show you guys how I do that. I like to use a tweezers now to apply my eyelashes. It just keeps my eyelash application so much cleaner and easier and my fingers are not in the way. Now I am smoking out my bottom waterline or underneath my lash line. And I am going in with the same colors in, that I use in my crease. So the coffee macchiato and the spice. And then I added a little bit of Morocco. And then fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I left that inner corner blank because I go in and highlight it with the crystal NY, NYX candy glitter liner. Now you guys can stop right here and just go out with this look. It is a very nice look, but I am going to kick it up a notch and add glitter. The glitter I am using is the same brand, NYX candy glitter liner but it is in the color lavender since this is in a liner form there is no need for me to mix it in with the magic mix but I do like the magic mix more with glitter loose glitter as you can see I messed up so I included that so I can show you guys how I fix it and I just get a spoolie and I scratch it off now I am tapping some teal loose glitter from beauty treats and the look is now complete i hope you guys enjoyed this look please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more and i know this is not part of the collaboration but i just wanted to show you guys my scene girl hair extensions i really love them these are the double weft set i believe that they were 20 inches but i had got them cut and as you can see, I did not straighten one of the pieces, but that does not matter. As you can see, it is very shiny and very thick. My hair is very short, so these hair extensions are so amazing and they blend really nice.